Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rod here with the Hodger Five Crypto, your new source for all things cryptocurrencies. First things first, I need you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification and like these videos. It goes a long way in helping me understand the content you're looking for. Well guys, I want to jump on today. I just want to do a quick update on the market. I know we're not doing the live stream as much right now, um, and those low cap hits uh, are really big videos for me. You guys really enjoy those. Uh, but a lot of conversations I've had the last couple days have all centered around Bitcoin. Now, I did the Bitcoin video yesterday uh, as Bitcoin got up above that $64,000. Uh, and surprise, surprise, it's retreated back. And it's not necessarily has anything to do with the Coinbase IPO or other news. Um, but just where we are in the market. Now, a lot of the conversations we've had around Bitcoin with people is people keep saying, oh, I wish I hadn't missed out on Bitcoin to where it is today. I wish I could have been one of those guys in 2010 that put in my $350 and it's worth $190,000 or whatever it is today. Well, guys, I know we've missed that for Bitcoin for that experience, but they're talking about a $1 million Bitcoin in 2030, okay? Let that sink in. Let's not even call it 2030. I believe it'll be 2029 in that bull run. Uh, but so if we're talking about a million dollar Bitcoin, you can't tell me that Ethereum doesn't carry a 10% market cap weight against Bitcoin as being the number two token to hit market. So while we sit there and we look and say, we wish, we wish, we wish, let's look at the current environment and the example that's right in front of us right now. If we buy into that number two token, if you were to take $10,000 today and put it into Ethereum, now that's a lot of money, I get that for people. But you talk about wanting that generational wealth in 10 years from now, you know, what will that get me? Well, if you took $10,000 today and Bitcoin fo or Ethereum follows Bitcoin and like right now it actually has a 25% market cap of what Bitcoin does. But if we look at that model alone, guys, that $10,000 in Ethereum is going to be worth almost $2 million. Let that sink in. I said $2 million. So there is opportunities on the market right now looking at you. And now you got to use that rule of thumb. So if Bitcoin is going to retrace 80 to 85%, the rest of that market is going to follow it just a little bit later. You're at the point right now where Ethereum is going to be worth the same at the end of the bull run as it is today. So you don't need to go and put your ten, all your $10,000 in today, or you don't need to leave it all in. You can actually dollar cost average in again later. But the opportunity is now, if you're looking for that generational wealth, I know $10,000 may be a big deal for you guys, but if you could put $10,000 into something today and have it worth almost $2 million in eight years, eight years, guys, that's where we're looking. Now, I know that there's market cap issues that everybody's gonna say, oh, you know, there's an infinite amount of supply of Bitcoin. We're just talking about market as a whole. The market's going to continue to climb. It's not like Bitcoin's gonna make it to a million dollars and leave everything else behind. It is going to get pulled along, okay? So you wanna talk about big investment opportunities? Ethereum is looking at you right now. It's not going anywhere, guys. Ethereum is the OG for altcoins. Remember that. It's the original. Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency. It has the advantage of being first to market. But Ethereum has the advantage of being first to market against Bitcoin. Guys, there is big opportunities sitting in front of us with Ethereum. Now, are the Polkadots and Cardanos Uniswaps, Litecoins, all those other coins going to go up with the same valuation? Some yes, some no. But guess what? What's the common denominator with all of those tokens and the market? It's Ethereum. 
So while you can sit there and you can judge other YouTubers or other influencers, other financial people who say Ethereum is going to make it to $2,500, and then you, we want to sit there and we want to judge them and poke them, okay? We want to poke somebody for giving us their opinion. Guys, they're doing you a favor. They're trying to get you ahead of the market. So what if it doesn't hit it the day they said, whether it be a month ago or two months ago? But let's take one thing for, for certain here, guys. Ethereum's not done. And today, being April 15th, you can bet your do bottom dollar you watch this on April 16th at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and Ethereum is going to have touched $2,500. And it's going to continue to rise. Now, Ethereum doing a twenty or twenty five hundred dollars and four xing in this bull run to ten thousand dollars is something that's very possible. So we talked about having to put in ten thousand dollars, and how that's a large sum of money. What if you put in twenty five hundred dollars today, and when the bull market hit the top, you pull your money out, you set it aside. And then when the market corrects, you move that money back in. Look at that. Now your two hundred or your twenty five hundred dollars is now in position to go on that same journey to being worth well over a million and just below two million, in my opinion. Now, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my thoughts, my opinions, my research. But I really do find value in Ethereum. Ethereum is that next token for us to go out there and make our generational wealth. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm still invested in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the original. So it is going to have parabolic gains. It is going to continue to go up. It does go through these market cycles where it corrects itself. But it is a great avenue to invest in. But we're just, I mean, you hear all these people say, oh, I've missed the Bitcoin thing. And oh, Cardano's never going to do anything. And guys, Ethereum is where all these other tokens are today. Is where it was in 2016. So wake up. Because Ethereum is that chance you're looking for. It is that chance you're looking for. You can come back here in 10 years and... You can come on the channel and I'll, 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 I'll go ahead and start commenting on the video below and line up. I'll have you on the channel in eight years and we can talk about how this prediction was so out of reach and out of whack when it happens. It's going there, guys. Anyways, guys, that's what I have for today right now. I plan on jumping on and doing something on an altcoin, a small cap gem for later on this evening. But I wanted to jump on, touch base, let you guys know that if you're not into Ethereum right now, you need to be. That's my opinion. Whatever your judgment is of it is your own. Please leave me a comment below. I need you guys to go ahead and like this video and please subscribe. Subscribing in the video helps me guys and letting me know what content you want to see. Because you, the viewers, are the community of the Hodler FUD. And the Hodler FUD is here to support what you guys want to talk about. Now, I do have a list of other tokens that you guys have left for me in the comments in the past. Uh, but I have gone on and done some of those comments. So if there's a token you'd like to speak about, or like to see me speak about, sorry, go ahead and leave that below as well. But guys, this was going to be a quick little hop on. This is what you should be looking at. The top 10 is the top 10. I want you guys to go down and look at who's number 11 right now at 2.30 in the afternoon. Dogecoin is the 11th largest market cap in cryptocurrency right now. It is battling Chainlink for number 10 as we speak. Like the market is just warming up to these coins, guys. I know everybody was saying alt season had started a while ago and Bitcoin dominance is down at 52.5% right now. Ethereum's at almost 13%. The money coming into the market is astronomical. We're up over half a billion dollars per day. The global cap is up half a billion dollars. Watch it go up as we continue into this run. All kinds of people are going to come in. Don't let that FOMO feeling hit you. 
when Ethereum is worth $100,000 per token. Guys, that's what I've got for today. Protect yourself, don't wreck yourself. Hodler FUD, over.